video. As a commentary YouTuber, I cover a broad spectrum of topics. Recently, we've struck golden oil. Too Mad and Tall Knight have been the gifts that keep on giving, along with Logan Paul as well. But I'm not directly involved in that. That's just a funny story. You guys saw the Tall Knight video. Have you seen the Tall Knight response? He's not as popular as Too Mad, so I wouldn't be surprised if you hadn't seen it yet. But basically, I made a video on this fella Tall Knight and all the things that happened. Now, to be clear, my older sister had walked in on me and my girlfriend the night before, calling on Discord. She needed me to do the usual favor of escorting her and her child to his house with our grandparents because my sister is not allowed around minors without adult supervision. There was an incident about two years ago at a daycare that she used to own which resulted in a baby being put into a coma because of what she did. What? And he responded to it and saw it and then it caused a bunch of other stuff and we'll circle back and we'll get to it, okay? If you haven't seen the first part of the video, here's a bit of a rundown. Three main things he was being canceled for in particular. A. Alleged scamming. B. Transphobic remarks. And C. Grooming. <gasps> alleged, of course. Alleged. Very important. Alleged. Alleged. <laughs> The scamming resulted from him being called a scammer after asking for help on his TikTok after being kicked out of a, uh, his house or a house by his sister and her husband. Here's some bits of a TikTok about the scam. Please don't scroll. I need help. I just got kicked out. I'm homeless now. I have nowhere to go. This is how much money I have to my name. Yeah, I don't make enough money to eat every day. Oh my God. It's been an hour. Here's a TikTok about the transgender thing. Transphobic remark. Uh-oh, wait, wait, wait! Well, 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 if it isn't the consequences of my own actions. Like you said you purposely did it because you dislike their politics. It's very important to remember, this man is very Christian, by the way. Very Christian guy. Hence the Crusader helmet. He was being called a groomer and or pedophile after messaging several people without verifying their age. And this happened one person, uh, and it happened other instances, him re responding to people with videos. Here's a video about it. All right, Tall Knight has finally responded to the leaked DMs of him and a 16-year-old girl. Let's take a look. All I did was compliment her and then tell her to tell me to go away. Dude, you are so far out of my league. I'm hella intimidated by you. All right, well, time to refresh my notifications for the next two hours until you respond. The entire conversation was PG. It was appropriate. Anyway, I'm still waiting for you to break my heart. Just like step on it, please. You got me out here just waiting for notifications from you. In the state of Ohio, where I live, the age of consent is 16. When crossing state lines, which this is, it is illegal. And now finally, I rest my case. It is important also, before we go any further, to note that Tall Knight made a actual response reaction to my video about him. And the guy's reaction to all this stuff is really interesting to me, and I want to kind of get into that a little bit more. First, we'll go over what I said in my original video and why he would have any sort of reaction at all. In the original video, we broke down all these points of contention and went over allegations, his defense, and how plausible these or reasonable these situations might have been, these accusations, whatever they were. That's what I was doing in my head, at least. In regard to the Tall Knight scam, I feel like this is the most dismissible of all of the allegations and bad things that have happened. He was fairly transparent about the whole situation, even gave money back, but I can understand where concerns would stem from. In my head, there's a few comparisons, but the closest one maybe would be the GoFundMe for a homeless fellow that ended up being a scam. It was a story about the kindness of strangers that had Americans talking and giving. Meg Oliver has the twist. D'Amico, McClure, and Bobbitt conspired to pass off a fake feel-good story that would compel donors to contribute to their cause. Bruce Almighty completely ruined news for me, by the way. This is a story about small-town Americans being misled, manipulated, scammed, and more. Tall Knight gave back the money that he didn't need once he got back on his feet, which feels pretty wholesome and genuine, and the opposite of the spectrum of someone who is trying to manipulate their audience into giving them money and scam them. So, unless that's exactly what Tall Knight wants us to think. Now, I bring up this allegation and thing first because it's the first one we brought up in the original video, but also it's the easiest to dismiss, at least as far as the scam side goes. The side regarding his behavior and the reason he was kicking out and the actions of an unbecoming good boy Christian aren't for us to decide. That's between him and God, maybe. <laughs> and also his sister and husband, since they removed him from the home as well, on top of God. The grooming allegations that were made against him were 
more more serious let's be real these are the kind of allegations that absolutely destroy careers and lives and have the biggest impacts on someone's well-being people be calling this man a groomer because of his actions with underage fans and this happened though because he didn't do any checking of their ages before interacting with them to make sure that they were at least 18 years old another thing that's not necessarily easily dismissible, but definitely something that could could be explained under the proper circumstances. Now, finally, the transphobic remark, probably the most damning thing that he did. He misgendered a musical artist simply because he didn't like their music. And we hammered down on this in the original video because his channel was built on inclusivity, mental health, and self-improvement. And he kind of is going out of his way to hurt someone for a very small, just illogical reason because he's a Christian. I don't fucking know. He doesn't believe in that shit. I don't fucking know, dude. He responded to all this and it's 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 interesting. A couple different responses too. A 40 minute one and a shorter one <laughs> and then like it, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Also Swagger Souls responded. I do not claim this man. <laughs> that's that's an L. That's an L for Tall Knight to be honest. This is the first response. Yo Oompaville made a video about everything that happened. And it's like a half hour long video, so if you're too lazy to go watch the whole thing, here's like his reaction to each of the things that happened. In my opinion, this is very clearly he's he's not a scammer. I don't know why people would say he's a scammer in this instance. He just asked for help. He even sent money back. And just like basically he has the most common sense reaction to the whole thing, where it's like, I had a really good thing going, I just did something that was really stupid and very obviously not on purpose. And how even though it was an accident, like, that doesn't make it okay, but it doesn't make me horrible. But anyway, I would highly recommend you go watch the video. It's fantastic. All those things I did say, all right, but if you watch just that and not the whole video, <laughs> it, it, it comes across as if maybe Tall Knight framed this all in a way that made the reaction of it look a lot better. He left out some pretty important parts, to be honest. Taking look on the bright side to a whole new level. <laughs> He really truly did only show the good clips in the earlier parts of his video. He showed some more objective stuff towards the end. Also just had this DM with him on Twitter showing how we got just like a couple details wrong, but he was super nice about it. I misspoke. It was a very tiny thing. I said it happened a lot of times for the uh, grooming minors and talking to minors and stuff. He said everything else in the video was fair, which is cool. It was definitely his first response was like, come on, bro. This is a little, this is a weird cope moment. Kind of a weird cope moment. He said W Oompaville. I feel like I wasn't even that nice. I was just trying to be, uh, not, you know, unbiased or kind of biased and acknowledge things that are good and acknowledge things that are bad. I don't know, dude. We'll get into it though. Cause he also made another response a 40 minute one Fuck. swagger souls does not claim me he does say that he liked my response and admits that he did something stupid and although it doesn't make what he did okay he agrees that he made a mistake which is good i feel like the way that he's kind of handling this is both really good and positive and like shows a willingness to change and improve but also um kind of delusional in a way we'll get to that too so all in all from the first bit of response he doesn't seem like an evil guy he shows his cock on twitter not sure how you can do that and be a christian he's not an evil bastard i really don't know it's it's a, it's it's interesting what do you guys think honestly i do have a very strong point to make um i think the fact that he has an audience of mostly children that's just what you know the primary audience on tiktok just is in general i think the fact that the whole like having his link tree go to his spicy thing and then having just his cock and balls out there i think that's a little weird not very christian i do recommend changing that um, and I, I assume he did. I'm not going to look at his cock and balls, to be honest. Because to speak to that a little bit more, mitigating harm to kids is like the number one most important thing. You can't prevent kids from seeing stuff they shouldn't see, but you should do your best as a creator, in my opinion, to sort of mitigate things or give them an option maybe to go look up stuff. Uh, it's a lot of area of gray. I mean, for example, I've made Do Not Google stuff uh, in which I try to show stuff that's a little bit fucked up on the internet that you shouldn't Google. And I implore people to not look it up and let me just react to it on their behalf. But I'm sure some people slip through the cracks. Don't do it. It makes sense. And also my audience isn't mainly children. 
It's like fucking 48% grannies, dude. I am a huge hit at the nursing home. Yeah. Now, I'd like to mention as well, his comment section doesn't really seem to be taking his side, as you can tell by these comments. Oomp and Pyro's vid were not on your side, bro. I'm convinced you didn't watch them. I'd say so. Yeah, I don't think none of it. I don't think it, any of it was really on his side. This guy said, so we just editing parts out. Uh, so yes, it's very strange. It's a little bit creepy. And yes, his cock and balls are on Twitter. Don't look it up. And he did cut out some points I made in the video, but overall he agreed with what I said and said it was fair. That was the TikTok reaction. Now here is the YouTube reaction. This is a lot different. The guy obviously likes the video I made. If you just look at the description, it says this will just be me hearing his opinion on everything, sharing my thoughts and correcting him on any little bits of info that he may have gotten unintentionally wrong. Of course, my intention is not to get things wrong or accuse people of things that aren't true. My first thoughts on this are 41 minutes. <laughs> I ain't watching all that shit, but we'll go through it. We'll skip through a few parts and I'll show you guys some pertinent info. I don't think I'm ever gonna let this down, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Out of every single hate comment I have ever gotten, and I've gotten a lot, that one stings the most. I'm not gonna lie. That hurts. That hurts. God damn it. God damn it. I will also say that the positivity in this video is pretty remarkable. And I feel like this is an interesting way to go about acknowledging problems. I can't really say I've seen this before as a way to uh, acknowledge a commentary video. It's literally titled, TikTok Creep Gets Justice. <laughs> He's, he seems chipper. I would be devastated if I was him. I'm devastated every time I have a fucking hate comment. I think about them for weeks. Just kidding. But. Hello, my friends. Today, I have been recognized by two of the most famous people on the internet. Oompaville himself and my biggest inspiration, Swagger Souls. Now, granted, this is not the kind of recognition I was hoping for, but I'll take it. A win is a win. A win is a win. There isn't a lot in this 41 minute response for me to respond to because he just kind of interjected and added a few basic things. He really didn't correct much. Uh, he admitted that the video was pretty unbiased and accurate and, uh, you know, just some some pretty small stuff. There are a lot of kids on TikTok, that's true, but there's no real way I could have known the exact amount of kids in my specific audience. All I know is what TikTok tells me, and TikTok told me I had a very large percentage of adults, so I will forever be sorry for that. Obviously, every audience has kids, but in this instance, you can see doing the things that you have done have caused some problems which is the reason that these videos are being made and the, the, there's a reason that people are mad at you although i still don't understand how you can do porn and be a christian no. <laughs> i don't understand that i literally do not get that at all i don't understand and maybe i'm just an idiot i'm not like i'm super religious or anything i don't i just don't understand 60 percent of the users on tiktok are between the ages of 16 and 24 and if it's anything like youtube um the 18 to 24 range is kind of wrong it's like mostly just children so i think it's clear by just going and looking at people's comments on their videos you can kind of tell and tall knight in my opinion i believe your videos are made for children i don't you know maybe they're not but that's just who they're being promoted to on on tiktok and if not children people who are probably around the age of 18 maybe younger maybe older it is a demonstrable fact that you can just find photos of your cock and balls, which I haven't seen, by the way. I have not seen any photos of this man's cock and balls, fortunately. Bless up. So that's basically the whole story. His response on YouTube, good. Response on TikTok, not as good. People roasted him in that one. You can see the comments on the YouTube response are much more positive, and I watched it. It's, it's good. I mean, it's, it's honestly, it's pretty good. He took, he took it to the chin, man. He took it to the chin. Now, this brings me to another point that I wanted to make, and that is, by God, do I have a responsibility to remain unbiased in these types of situations? Because this can, like everyone has said, ruin people's careers and images and tarnish, you know, it can destroy stuff for very little or almost no reason. Anyways, guys, I'm looking forward to the next allegations. Somebody thinks shooting a gun at us. We can't kiss. We better do it quick before they get, they get rid of us. They don't want our love to exist. They don't want our love to exist. 